Welcome back to Team G503. In this video, I'm going to be installing part number A1261K, which is the fuel strainer and cartridge and gasket set from Ron Fitzpatrick G Parts. This is the third and final video in the small series here we've been doing on the restoration of the fuel strainer. It replaces the original element that I'm holding here. Now this should and can be cleaned and reused. I'm going to put this aside for the future as I find out that these paper filters seem to be more convenient and they seem to work very, very well. I've got my bowl here that I've restored. Lou Ladwig of the International Flat Fender Club was kind enough to zinc plate that for me and it came out beautifully and I installed the label there or the, or the decal on the front myself. That also is available from Ron Fitzpatrick G Parts. I am super proud of the way this came out and I think it looks fantastic. Thank you once again. President Ladwig. Okay, let's get started here. We're going to put in the brass plug that goes in the bottom side of the bowl, and we've got the pipe threads here that I'm going to want to apply some sealant to, as fuel does sit in the bottom of that bowl, and I don't want any leaks to come out. Now, in the service manual, they tell you to remove this once a month and let out any moisture that would have been in there, and I don't know how many of you out there are doing it. If you do that, then make sure you put the sealant back in there. It helps make a nice seal, and we don't want any fuel leaking in there. I'm going to work this plug back and forth so that my sealant works its way into the threads. If you just straight up screw that in there, you stand a chance of the sealant just pressing out and not making a seal. So we've got that all sealed up nice, and I'm going to go ahead and tighten that up with a wrench. I just want to show you again the inside of this thing. is absolutely beautiful. That zinc plating job is going to be fantastic. Let's remove our parts here from the packaging. We've got our fibrated gaskets. They're going to do a little bit better for you than some of the rubber ones that are out there. They won't swell and cause you any leaks or any issues. And then we've got our cartridge or paper element. And so we've got these all laid out here. Now, if you remember the first video where I disassembled and removed the gasket from the top cap there, we're going to set this one aside. Now, you will need that if you were just replacing the gasket, but I've already installed one from the gasket kit that I had that was just straight up the gasket kit. Here we've got the medium-sized one, and that's going to be part of the cartridge, and I'll show you that here in just just a second. You see how quality made these are. They're very nice. Everything is going to work out great for you. You have no leaks. And this small little gasket is going to go on the bolt that holds everything together. So I might as well go ahead and show you here. This is the bolt that holds the cap and the bowl together. And notice the five little dimples are like a dice on the top of this. I don't know who did that at some point, but that is really kind of neat. So I just kind of clean that all up on the wire wheel and reuse it. Okay, let's look at the sides here now. We've got cork on gaskets on both sides of our filter cartridge. Those are going to come and play in a minute. Go ahead and start out with the bowl here. I'm going to take the spring. Now the spring is, is actually part of your filter unit. I've cleaned that up so there's no rust or any debris on that and I'll just reinstall that. Now here's a little trick of my own. This is a half inch flat washer. I'm going to add that on top of the spring just for a little bit more protection on the bottom side of this paper filter. That will be fine with that cork gasket. It's just something that I like to do myself. That way I'm reassured it's not going to push through and drop down to the top. You don't need to, it's just a little extra bit of precaution. So I'll go ahead and install my half inch inside diameter flat washer, and then I'll install the cartridge with the smaller hole diameter in the gasket downwards as shown here. And you see here that springs up and down really nice, it's going to hold it in place and make a nice seal on the top of our filter unit. The last gasket we need to concern ourselves with is the small one, and that's going to go on the shoulder here of this special bolt that holds the bowl to the top cap there. Now when you push this gasket down, you'll see that little shoulder, you want to make sure that that gasket seats on that shoulder of that bolt, because that's how it seals. Show it real close here, you can see it's right in there, it's flat up against the top of the head. We'll go back to the Jeep now where we installed the top in the first video we made, and all the lines are installed there as you can see, and we're simply going to take the bowl from the bottom, and insert the bolt there in the top and that's going to hold and bring everything together. And remember now we spring loaded this cartridge now so you're going to hold it underneath the bolt dead center there and we'll push up on the bowl until we can line up that bolt with those threads and then we'll simply thread it by hand. While you're doing this make sure your gaskets stay in place especially there on that top bolt and that's why we made sure it was pressed on the shoulder just a few minutes ago here in the video. It'll take a little second to get this wound down into the inside here but you can for the most part spin this right in by hand and everything will stay in place and then after the fact we can go ahead and give it a final tightening with a wrench. I'm using a three quarter inch box end open end wrench. I'm using the box end here on this top bolt. I'm holding the bowl so that the decal doesn't spin sideways as I'm doing this. And as I'm tightening this bolt, you can actually feel the gasket starting to compress. When you get to the end, you give it that one last little tweak and that'll make sure everything sets up and seals nice. And again, this came out beautiful, very happy with this. Let's take one last look at everything we've covered here. We've start here with the carburetor, and the fuel line down to the fuel pump. And then from the fuel pump, we went over the top of the engine at the timing cover area and then down towards the splash shield and around the generator and back up to the fuel strainer unit that's mounted to the firewall. Take just a minute here also, I want to kind of show you the progress I've been making on this project. 
It's a lot of fun putting this back together and seeing it all come together and start to look like a Jeep again after all the trials and tribulations we've had during this two years of our filming the restoration of the 1943 Willis MB. But during the film of this video, this is where I was at at it. And you can see we've got some wiring going on there with the headlights and the engines all installed and we've, we're already starting to work on the bond straps. Getting very excited. This is all getting back together again. Going to jump back into the electric now. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Okay, so that's the last video of three-part series we've done here on our fuel strainer and the fuel lines that are in the engine compartment here. If you go back, you can also see the ones we've got connected to the carburetor as well as the main one that goes to the gas tank itself, and that's all part of the series. So now we're all installed here. We're going to move along now, get back into the electric. I've also got the gas tank video I've got coming out soon, so stay tuned. If you haven't already, thank you to all the new subscribers, but if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with all the videos we're releasing in the very near future here. I'm going to try to put them out every couple days. And got to get caught back up on all my video footage because I really kind of jumped ahead and got this Jeep, you know, pretty much, well, it's, it's almost done. Let's just say that. All right, my friends, until next time, keep it safe and happy Jeeping.